Okay, so if you're pretty good with numbers, well, then you should be able to multiply 12 times 14 all in your head. So that is the challenge for this particular video. Now, most of you out there can do basic multiplication like 6 times 3 in your head. You don't have to uh, kind of get a calculator out or a piece of paper or a pencil. Well, that's what we're going to be doing with this problem. No calculators, no paper, no pencil. You're just going to use that supercomputer of yours, which is located right here. Uh, that is far better than any artificial intelligence. As a matter of fact, that's actual intelligence. All right, so there is no time limit on this problem, and there's different ways you can do this. Now, if you're confused on how to do this problem in your head, obviously I'm going to give you some methods and techniques that uh, will make this problem a lot easier. All right, now if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll talk about different ways you can do this problem that make it uh, manageable to calculate in your head. All right, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, uh, there is no rush to do this problem. In other words, you're going to have to stare at it into your little calculations. And uh, even if you're not uh, quite sure, at least take a guess, right? What do you think is a reasonable number uh, here for the product of 12 and 14? But let's go to take a look at the actual answer. The actual answer is 168. All right, now, if you're able to get this answer using nothing but your brain, well, you definitely deserve a happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence as a certified professional expert in the area of multiplication. All right, now, again, there's different techniques you could um, use to uh, solve this problem. And uh, in terms of practical math, you know, is it really practical to learn how to multiply maybe like two-digit numbers in your brain? Well, you know, I think so in the sense that, you know, it's, um, it's just good math practice to um, uh, learn and improve your mental math skills. Okay, but this particular problem is interesting because we're going to look at a property that's really important in mathematics. Now, here is my lovely little sketch of uh, some of you out there that may have uh, actually did this. Now, if you did this, boy, you get an A++ in my book. And that is, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you want to you want me to multiply 12 times 14? Uh, boy, and let, me, let me think about this. I'm going to do this in my brain here. So 12 times 14, you're kind of doing all this, you know, arithmetic and everything else, and you did, you know, you actually completed this in your brain. I don't think most people were able to do this. Now, if you did this, that is, wow, that is really, really impressive. But we need another uh, kind of strategy because this is a lot of mental math work to do all in our brain. So how can we approach this problem? Well, we need to reduce the number of steps that we uh, need to think about in terms of multiplying 12 and 14. So let's go ahead and take a look at a simple example here of the problem. But first, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, discuss uh, notation, mathematical notation, and that is this. 12 times 14, this is the multiplication operator, but there's different multiplication operators. Uh, you can have a little dot like that, so like 12 times 14, but you could also write 12 times 14 as 12 parentheses 14. So when you have a 12 outside of, of a uh, number like this, like 14, and uh, this right here is multiplication. So I'm going to uh, kind of look at this notation right here to help us out. So 12 times 14 is the same thing as 12 times 14 is the same thing as 12 times 14. All right, so let's pick it up from here. And uh, thinking about this problem, 12 times 14, let's look at a simpler example. Okay, now I'm going to show you a property here. It's one of my favorite properties in all of math and algebra, and it's one you absolutely need to know. And what I'm talking about here is something called the distributive property. Okay, the distributive property. Now, formally, I'll write this out real quick here. It's A times B plus C is equal to AB plus AC, but uh, this is confusing. 
or a lot of people are like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you got me lost here. Just explain your little uh, strategy to me. Well, I'm going to do that right now. All right, so we're going to multiply 2 times 8. Okay, 2 times 8. I think I said, uh, hopefully I didn't say 18. Sometimes I'm not quite sure <laughs> what I say because I'm speaking so much. Anyways, we have 2 times 8. All right, 2 times 8. So we have 12 times 14, and we're going to do this simple example problem, 2 times 8. All right, so what is 2 times 8? Everybody in unison, obviously the answer is 16. Okay, now we're going to use this fact here because we're going to do this problem in a different manner. And the uh, kind of the process that we're going to use, the strategy, is what we're going to use on this problem. All right, let's go to take a look at how to multiply 2 times 8. So what we can do is we can split this 8 right here into all different sorts of combinations of sums and differences. All right, what, what am I saying here? So 8 is the same thing as 6 plus 2, right? Well, 8 is also 7 plus 1. Uh, 8 is also 10 minus 2. Uh, uh, 8 is also 1 plus 1 plus 1. All these ones that add up to 8. So you can write 8 in all different sorts of uh, ways. Now, the advantage of doing this, okay, is we can use something called the distributive property, which is another uh, way to multiply uh, numbers, okay, and algebraic expressions. It's something you absolutely need to understand. So let's think of 8 as 6 plus 2 for this simple example, all right? So 2 times 6 plus 2 is the same as 2 times 8. All right, now uh, that we know that, let's go ahead and actually look at the distributive property. Now, I'm saying this word, uh, distributive, and what does that mean? Well, it means to distribute, okay? So, in other words, let's say here I am, and I got a bunch of calculators in this box. And, hey, everybody, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man's got all these free calculators. I'm going to pass them out to you, but I'm going to distribute the calculators, right? So, that's kind of what that word means is, like, hey, you get one, you get one, you get one, you get one. So, distributive property. So, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take this 2, we're going to multiply 2 times 8, but we're not multiplying by 8, we're going to multiply this 2 uh, by 6 and 2. And again, we're going to take this 2 and we're going to distribute okay, it to this 6, and we're also going to distribute it to this 2. Okay, So this is going to be 2 times 6 plus 2 times 2. So let's go and see this in action. So 2 times 6 is 2 times 6, and then here, because this is an addition between these two numbers, we have to put that plus sign, and then it's going to be 2 times 2, uh, which, of course, we have right there. Okay, so really make sure you understand what I just did because this is an application of the distributive property. All right, so we have 2 times 8, which, of course, is uh, 16, and now we have uh, 2 times 6 plus 2 using a, uh, the distributive property, 2 times 6 plus 2 times 2. Obviously, we can kind of simplify this down. 2 times uh, 6 is 12, plus 2 times 2 is 4, 12 uh, plus 4 is 16. All right, now if you understand this, well, this is going to be the method that we're going to use to uh, do this problem in a much easier manner, so we don't have to be like this person up here trying to figure this out all in our brain. All right, so let's apply the distributive property to our problem. There's all different sorts of ways you can do this. So we have 12 times 14. All right, so let's think of 14. What are some ways we could break up 14? Well, you could break this up in, again, 1 plus 13. Uh, you know, you could have um, uh, 7 and 7. Uh, but let's use easy numbers, okay? Easy numbers in terms of the distributive property. How about 10 and 4? Okay, now hopefully you know what 12 times 10 is. And you're like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. And if you know what 12 times 4 is equal to, well, then we're going to be in good shape to figure this out all in our brain. All right, so 12 times 14 is equal to, or is the same uh, problem as 12 times 10 plus 4. All right, now let's go ahead and use the distributive property to actually calculate the answer. So we're going to have 12 times 10, okay, which is what? 12 times 10 is 120. Hopefully that's a pretty easy problem for all of you out there. And then now, really what we have to figure out is 12 times 4 in our brain. Okay, so if you're doing mental math, uh, let's assume that you already know 12 times 10 is 120. So put that off to your, to put that off to the side. Okay, say, all right, I'm going to focus on one thing at a time. What is 12 times 4? All right, so hopefully, you know, you can look at this all different sorts of ways. You could be like, all right, I can add up a four 12s. 
Uh, but hopefully, okay, most of you can see then the answer is going to be 48. So if you're uh, saying, all right, 12 times 4, this is a 48, and then 12 times 10 is 120, now your brain can go on to just uh, thinking about this, 120 plus 48, 120 plus 48. So you can think of the 48 as 40 plus 8. So here we have 120 plus 40, which is 160, plus that 8, 168. All right, so this is only one approach because we have all different uh, sorts of ways we can break up our 14. Matter of fact, we can even break up the 12 as well. So I'm gonna show you um, different kind of variations so we can get really, really good with the distributor property. And uh, let's go ahead and take that next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, the reason why I'm stopping this lovely math video is because I need your help, okay? Uh, this is not a bad word to learn. Okay, now you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, why, you know, why are you, why are you telling me to learn the word help? Well, when it comes to math, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, it's better to ask for help, okay, than to struggle. For me, I can't uh, reach people, uh, the, as, met, as many people as I like to, without asking for your assistance. Okay, so the best way to support this channel is just to literally hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that allows me to help uh, more people in math. But uh, if you are struggling in math, please don't give up. Uh, you could be very successful in mathematics, okay? But you gotta, you gotta go get help. Now, who are you going to ask help from? All right, well, this is where you have to be very careful. Always start with your teacher if you are a student. But if you need uh, more help beyond that, check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to them in the description of this video. And uh, kind of the stuff that we're talking about here is basic math. So some of you might be interested in like my math foundations or a math skill rebuilder course. All right, let's go to take a look at other examples of the distributive property. There's all sorts of ways we can break this up. So let's uh, take a look at 12 times 14. Now 14, you can break up 14 or using the, uh, the distributive property, you could break up your numbers or your algebraic uh, expressions in any sorts of ways uh, that you want, okay, uh, in terms of sums or differences. And you're not limited to two. So in other words, we don't have to go 12 and just pick two numbers like 10 and four, right? You can do as many as you want. So here is a simple example. So uh, 12 times, let's break up 14 this way. Five plus five is 10 plus this two is 12, plus this other two right here is 14, okay? So all of this right here is in fact 14. Now, why would you wanna break this up? Well, maybe you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know 12 times five is 60, uh, I remember that. Well, if you remember that, well, then you could, you could think of 14 this way, but this is a lot of steps uh, to kind of remember in your brain. But the great thing about the distributor property, it's very useful when you don't have a calculator as well. So even if you're not trying to calculate this in your brain, if you don't have a uh, uh, calculator, but you have a piece of paper or pencil, you can do multiplication property, uh, multiplication problems, excuse me, in this manner. All right, so just kind of for the fun of it, let's go ahead and use the distributive property. Matter of fact, if you want to pause the video and do this on your own, uh, just to kind of check your work, that's fine as well. Okay, so here we go. So 12 times five plus five, plus two plus two is gonna be what? Well, 12 times five is 60. And then we have 12 times five again, that's 60. And then we have 12 times two, which hopefully for most of you out there, that's pretty easy, that's 24. And then we have 12 times two again, that's 24. All right, so 60 and 60 is 120. Now we have our 120 plus uh, 24 plus this other 24, that's gonna get us back to 168. Now, probably this isn't the most practical approach, uh, to figuring this problem out uh, using the distributor property, but I wanted to show it to you. All right, let's take a look at other uh, prompts. All right, now let's suppose some of you are saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I remember that 12 squared is equal to 144, okay? And if you remember that, that's awesome because we can break up uh, 14 as 12 plus two because we already know 12 times 12 is gonna get us 144. So this is another approach, right? So let's go ahead and do this right now. So that's why, you know, there's not any one method. Matter of fact, there's even other methods that you could do this multiplication in your brain. So 12 times 12 is what? Well, that's 144. 12 times two is 24. So we add those two numbers up, we get 168. 
All right, now, uh, so far in this problem, we've been breaking up the 14, okay, into different um, sums and, and differences. Now, I haven't done a difference problem, but I could certainly do that. But let's break up the 12 this time for our last little example. All right, so actually, I want to do one more. Yes, I'm going to break up the 12 this time. All right, so here, let me go ahead and go back. We've had 12 times 14, right? So 12 times 14, and we've been taking this 14 and breaking it up by and multiplying by 12. But now, uh, when we multiply uh, numbers or values, 7 times 3 is the same thing as 3 times 7. Order doesn't make a difference. So I can flip-flop this around and look at the problem this way, 14 times 12. Okay, so 14 times 12 is the same thing as 12 times 14. And now let's break up the 12. Okay, see if we uh, get the right answer. Of course, we will. All right, so what's a good way to break up 12? How about 10 and 2? 10 plus 2 is 12. So now we can use the distributive property. 14 times 10 is uh, 140. And then 14 times 2 is 28. All right, let me kind of scroll down here. All right, so we can see the rest of the problem. So 140 plus 28, 168. Okay, so when it comes to uh, kind of um, doing calculations, this is a must-know property, the, the distributive property, but it makes your life a lot easier. It's an, an awesome property. Matter of fact, let's see. Let's give you a little uh, pop quiz here. What do you think the answer is to this? 2 times 4x plus, uh, let's say, 5. Now, even if you don't know algebra, okay, knowing what you know about the distributive property, what do you think the answer is going to be? What do you think I'm going to do here? Well, look, we can't multiply uh, uh, 4x plus 5 times 2 in our calculator, right? We're not going to be able to say hmm, 4x plus 5 uh, plus 2. It's not going to give us a number like a, uh, like a number value. But we need to simplify this expression, and this is the whole idea behind the, uh, behind the distributive property. So let's go ahead and do this now. So what do you think I'm going to do here? Well, what I'm going to do is take this 2, because this is a multiplication problem, and this is a sum uh, or some sort of you know, value that is expressed as a sum. So I'm going to take that 2, I'm going to multiply by this, and take that 2 and multiply by this. So 2 times 4x in algebra, you multiply the numbers, so this is 8 x plus 2 times 5 is 10. And there you go. So uh, 2 times 4x plus 5 is equal to 8x plus 10. And you're, uh, uh, this is a must-know step to solve all different sorts of uh, situations in algebra, particularly equations. All right. So again, there's even other methods out there. And uh, you know, this is a big debate in terms of, hey, what's the best way to do mental math? There is no best way. Uh, it Really, these are tools that you need to know. But, you know, if you're able to do the math like this person over here, boy, I tell you, you get an A++++. plus plus plus. Uh, matter of fact, if you were in my basic math class, I would just say take the rest of the year off. I don't know how you got so good in math. Maybe you've been watching that guy on YouTube. Who knows? All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.